The disabled Army vet was at this Jeepers at Lakeside Mall earlier this month. He was there for a child's birthday when he says he was asked to leave because other customers were uncomfortable with his Doberman service dog. I never thought I'd be in that situation. Army veteran Davin Dumar survived two tours to Iraq and one to Afghanistan where he lost his leg and suffered other injuries after his troop was ambushed. But now he's fighting a battle for disabled folks with service dogs. His dog Layla never leaves his side, and that includes the day he went to Jeepers in Sterling Heights. We were there for about an hour. Um, no issues. You know, she didn't bark anybody, she didn't growl at anybody, she just laid on the ground. Dumar says the owner of Jeepers told him Layla was making other customers uncomfortable and that I would have to leave because they have they're a food establishment and dogs aren't allowed. When he showed her his service dog card, he says the owner questioned his condition. Well, well, why do you need her? That's more kind of personal. That's kind of my medical history. I don't think I should have to tell you my medical history just to be able to stay here. And even after I showed her my prosthetic, she still told me I had to leave. We went to Jeepers and talked with the owner. She says Layla was a very well-behaved dog and did not bother other patrons. I got on my knees and... I let her lick my face, and I thought everything was fine. She admitted that other customers complained, saying the dog scared them. If I had a, a golden retriever, everyone loves golden retrievers, I'm sure no one would have complained, and there would have been no issue. So why did the owner approach the Army vet? She claims ignorance, not realizing Layla was a service dog. I had never seen before a vested service dog. The owner says she never asked Dumar to leave, but she felt obligated to address the situation because of pushy customers. I could see them watching me. So you felt pressure to approach a gentleman? Yes. In hindsight, the owner of Jeepers says she would have never approached him and is sorry she made him feel unwelcome. He has every right to be in this park. I just don't want it to happen to somebody else. And the owner of Jeepers plans to reach out to that Army vet to apologize, and she hopes others can learn from her mistake. We're live in Sterling Heights. Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit.